Hi everyone, welcome back to Dive Champ. This advanced gameplay video is going to show you some of the more advanced dives available in the game. So we're going to resume a game that's already started. We're going to pick a diver that already has a lot of his statistics quite high. So you can see from the shop we can access some of the different boards. You can use it as a shortcut to go straight to the boards that you want to do. So here we're going to pick the 5 meter board and we're going to go to a nice new location and we're going to head straight to the pool. And on the left you can see all the different positions that you can do for your dive. You can do arm stand, inward, reverse, back, forward. You can pick any of these that you want to do and then combine them with one of the tricks on the right. So there's a lovely little dive. A nice reverse pike. Got me 9 out of 10. So let's try another one. Inward one and a half. Coach gives us eight, that's pretty good too. So that's it for the five meter practice session. Go back, I get a little bit of experience. I'm gonna pick, uh, let's go all the way to the top. I'm gonna pick the 10 meter tower. So here we're gonna attempt an arm stand dive. Just time it perfectly and no, I didn't do very well there. Let's try that again. Try and see if we can do it a little bit better, get a little bit more precise timing, try and get ourselves a better score. So I'll do a reverse two and a half triple twist. And is that it? 10 out of 10, the perfect score. And that's exactly how it should be done. So coming back to the main menu, I'm gonna check out what competitions are available to me now. As you can see, there are loads of different ones from around the world. I'm gonna pick the World Championships. Now obviously here it's a much tougher competition, there's a lot more competitors. And here you're only going to get one attempt to be able to do your dive. But every single one of your dives has to be perfect. So for this dive I'm going to do a forward two and a half somersault pike. And you're going to see in these that the judges are going to be much more severe on your timing. You're going to have to hit it absolutely perfect if you want to get a good score. In this competition there are seven different judges. They're going to deduct your two highest and two lowest scores. So seven was good but probably not good enough to get to the top of the leaderboard. So for this one, I'm doing a back two and a half somersault tuck. So I choose the direction, and then I launch myself into the dive. This is a 2.7 difficulty, and it was pretty bad. So as you can see, by doing badly on your second dive, I've dropped all the way to the bottom of the leaderboard. So for this, I need to do a reverse two and a half somersault pike. So really it's all about timing, I'm going to have to really try and do this again, I timed it poorly, I got poor scores. So the fourth round is an inward two and a half somersault tuck, I get myself prepared, and it's very very responsive, so you can actually time and do your twists in the air as you move down, and really getting them all linked together will get you the best score available, and will help you climb up the leaderboards. So for this one, it's an arm stand forward triple somersault pike. I get it set up. Quite a tricky dive. And I did actually the wrong dive. You see, that's the whole thing. You only get one attempt. It's an absolute compulsory dive, and I get no points for that score at all for doing the wrong one. So for this one, it's a forward two and a half somersault one twist. And you're going to build up over the course of the game. So as you play through the earlier rounds, you're going to be learning each one of these dives. You're going to be able to go and practice it for as many times as you want in the pool. And you can prepare for the World Championships as you go forward and eventually get these high scores. So in the final standings, irrespective of that final dive, I didn't do well enough. I'm still bottom. Whenever you want, you can quit the meet. You could just leave, try something else. If you find it too tough, you can go back, level up your character, earn more experience, then put what you've learned in the training modes into effect. Dive Champ fully supports Game Center. As you can see, the leaderboards are key to the whole game. Every single meet available in the game is going to have its own leaderboard. So you can see how you're doing, you can track your progress, you can compare it against your friends, and also has a whole lot of achievements for you to get and earn. Thank you very much for your time, that was Dive Champ, advanced gameplay video.